Good evening, everyone. I hope you're all safe, happy, loved, protected. Tonight is Psalms 91, 1 through 16. The one who lives under the protection of the Most High dwells in the shadow of the Almighty. I will say concerning the Lord, who is my refuge and my fortress, my God in whom I trust, he himself will rescue you from the bird trap, from the destructive plague. He will cover you with his feathers. You will take refuge under his wings. His faithfulness will be a protective shield. You will not fear the terror of the night, the arrow that flies by day, the plague that stalks in the darkness, or the pestilence that ravages at noon. Though a thousand fall at your side and ten thousand at your right hand, the pestilence will not reach you. You will only see it with your eyes and witness the punishment of the wicked. Because you have made the Lord my refuge, the Most High, your dwelling place, no harm will come to you, no plague will come near your tent, for he will give his angels orders concerning you, to protect you in all your ways. They will support you with their hands, so that you will not strike your foot against a stone. You will tread on the lion and the cobra, you will trample the young lion and the serpent, because he has his heart set on me. I will deliver him. I will protect him because he knows my name. When he calls out to me, I will answer him. I will be with him in trouble. I will rescue him and give him honor. I will satisfy him with a long life and show him my salvation. This is the protection you receive from God when you give everything of yourself to him and our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ just as I have since I gave my life to them. Yes, I was in spiritual warfare, warfare for my very soul, but all of us are, whether you give yourself completely to them or not. Once you do, you absolutely need all of their protection to make it through spiritual warfare. Both Satan and his workers in this world will attack you with things you will not see coming. Only with their protection, guidance, and grace will you make it through. They provide what you need when you need it. Your enemies will fall before you. You will prevail. You will stumble, but you will not fall. For they will always catch you, then pick you back up. Let go of what you thought you knew, and live in their will for your life, and not in your own will. You will always have two choices. What you choose will determine your judgment. So choose wisely. If God is for us, then who can be against us? The answer is no one. Remember, God, our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, the Holy Spirit, the angels, and I love you all without question or reservation. May God's peace, love, grace, blessings, joy, mercy, understanding, compassion, caring, kindness, patience, wisdom, protection, glory, goodness, corrections, truth and trust, forgiveness and salvation, strength, endurance, clarity, steadfastness, faithfulness, favor and anointing, always be with you, guiding you through. I love you all, and I'll see you in the morning.